What's going on guys, it is your boy Strive here, welcome back to another video, and in today's video I'm bringing you what I like and what I dislike about Call of Duty World War 2. This is just my overall thoughts of the multiplayer portion, because I've I've only played one mission on campaign and I haven't played much zombies. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into this video. If you guys do want a quick answer and you don't want to watch my reasons, yes, I think Call of Duty World War II is overall a good game. First of all, I'm going to go through the negative reasons and what, what I don't like about the game, and then we're going to finish with the good reasons and why I do like the game. So starting out, I think the biggest problem with Call of Duty World War II right now and ever, I think, is the connection issues. The servers and the connections on this game are absolute trash. Guys, I'm not joking when I say the servers are terrible. They're the worst servers I think we've had in a while. For the first two days, you couldn't even barely play the game. You, there was times where the, the screen would be completely black, you couldn't play it, you would either get stuck into the, the, the lobby and you couldn't vote for the maps or change your character or leave the game. You had a deranking glitch, where actually if you went into private match and came back out, you'd be ranked 1. The orders are all messed up right now. I mean, like, I did a match where I had an order to get 35 kills in Domination in 10 minutes, and 35 kills in um, TDM in 10 minutes, and to get 100 kills in any game mode in 40 minutes. I did War to get most of the 100 kills, uh, because I also had a different order for War. And when I came out, after a 20 minute War match, both of those were gone, and I'm not really sure why. I don't know why those contracts cancelled out. That is probably the biggest thing. The connections are terrible. I'm always into a game and I'm always lagging. I'm always somehow in a gunfight, lag spite hits all the time. It makes it really hard to get good gameplays because I very rarely get good connection to where I'm not lagging. That to me I think is the probably the biggest thing that is wrong with World War 2 is its connection. The next thing I don't like is hardcore teammate kills. Uh, when your teammate kills you in hardcore, it counts as a death. I don't know why that is. I don't know why my teammates killing me should res reflect back on my KD. It doesn't make any sense. So why the hell do my teammates determine my KD ratio? If I have 30 kills and 2 deaths, but those 2 deaths are from teammates, I shouldn't have a 15 KD. It should be a 30 KD. Now, either way, both of those are really high KDs. But you get what I'm saying. I also think there's way too many pistol grips. Way too many pistol grips in the game. That's another negative thing. I mean, there's 88 fucking pistol grips, guys. Come on. There's 88 grips. If you, half the time, the only time you see these grips are when you inspect the gun. You ever wonder why you open a supply drop and get three grips in a row? Because there's fucking 88 pistol grips. The next negative thing is, like, it's a possibility. It's not in the game yet, but apparently it's supposed to be, and that's the thousand levels. Guys, I don't know why every single Call of Duty is adding fucking a thousand levels. It's insane. Any casual player is never going to reach that milestone. The only people that are going to reach that is the 5% that do YouTube for a living or Twitch stream. That's the only people that are ever going to reach it. There's not a single casual player who goes to work every day or goes to school or does stuff outside in his personal life that is ever going to reach that milestone. It's not going to happen. I like in a game a sense of completion. A sense of completion gives me like, yeah, I'm doing good. I have completed the game. You know, I've got the max level, and it gives me a sense of completion. But when there's a thousand levels, I don't get that sense of completion, because I don't get the chance to complete it. The next one I'm going to go with is Flinch and Primed. That's Weapon Flinch and the, uh, the the Primed basic training. I feel like Primed is a crutch perk. Just like in Black Ops 2, how toughness was basically a crutch perk, and it was like 99% used across the entire player base. Weapon Flinch in the game is the dumbest thing ever. It is like, it's basically like getting into a gunfight and it just giving you a 50-50 chance of you winning that gunfight and you have nothing to control. This leads to everybody using the basic training prime. Basically, if you're using it, there's no other there's no other style of gameplay you can play. You can't you can't put on a defensive basic training and then try to guard a flag. You can't put on a rush basic training like something that makes you I don't know, reload faster or whatever and then get up and push enemies. You have to run prime and that gives you an extra attachment and it stops flame. My next thing is head glitches. They're not that big of a deal, but when you do get head glitched, you know, and it's bad head glitches. Like I'm talking terrible. Like head glitching 
obviously it's gonna happen in every Call of Duty, but I'm talking in this game, head glitches mainly are actual head glitches. At least in other games, you could see the face of the person. In this game, you see the helmet. That's it. Second last, we're gonna talk about supply drops. They're good in their current state, but I have a feeling that they're gonna be able to be sold, which isn't that bad, but if they start adding supply drop exclusive weapons, I'm gonna be really mad. And finally, the last negative thing about this is Gustav Cannon. Guys, I just remove it from the game. Just I got into a free-for-all of four people on Gustav Cannon, the biggest map in the game. It is so bad. The flow is absolutely terrible. You spawn in all four corners of the map, and everybody just runs to the center. It's the worst map flow possible. Now we go on to the positives. The positives definitely outweigh the negatives. The negatives I feel like I'm very passionate about, but you know, there's stuff that can be fixed in time and all that different type of stuff. We're gonna start with diamond camo. I actually really like them bringing back diamond camo because it gives, it gives challenges. Like not only does the camo look cool and like you're very rewarded when you actually have a diamond class because you're like, damn, that guy put in the work to get that class diamond but it just gives a challenge like when you're max prestige it gives something else to do that motivates you to play but it's also something that doesn't take years of playing like the thousand levels the next thing i want to talk about is the maps the maps are absolutely amazing let me point that out the maps are amazing i'd rather have the nine maps we have now at launch and have them absolutely amazing than jump into having 12 maps but like four of them are terrible i don't have a problem with like any map in this in, in this entire game except for gustav cannon the next thing I want to talk about are the graphics. The graphics of the game are A+. They're amazing. I absolutely love them. I love a multiplayer, the dying effect. Like, if you die and you get your leg blown off or something, the character on the ground is dead, but, like, he does a little, like, dying animation. Like, he'll scream and grab his leg if it's blown off or his arm, whatever, you know? It's cool. I love that stuff. His overall look is amazing. I love it. It's awesome. Another thing I really like is the Quartermaster. I li it's like the tower in Destiny, and I like it. It gives a set, it, it's immersive. You can get in and you actually feel like you're walking around and, to do tasks. Next we have the firing range. I absolutely love the firing range. I don't know why every Call of Duty doesn't have this. Advanced Warfare did it and I thought every Call of Duty after that would do it, but apparently not. Why aren't we getting more firing range? It's like if I get a gun and I don't know if it's gonna be good, like if it has too much recoil or too high, you know, fire rate. Why would I get into a game and hurt my KD, if you actually care about KD, when I could go into the firing range and test it out and see if I like it? That, like, I don't understand why every Call of Duty doesn't have this. The next part is score streak training. I abs this is really cool, too. I like how you can actually test out some score streaks to see if you like them before you use those. Again, I don't know why every Call of Duty doesn't implement this. Why would you pick something if you don't know what, what it's like using it? The next part is the orders and contracts system. Again, amazing. I love it. it. It gives this sense of every day you get something to do that you can get some XP or a supply drop. And it really makes it so that everything in the game can be earned without purchasing a supply drop. I also love the war game mode. The war game mode, I think, is just phenomenal. There's three maps designed specifically for war. And uh, all of those maps are really good. And the war game mode is just is so fun. Finally, the supply drops. I actually like the supply drops in this game. Yeah, they might have too many pistol grip, but... They are strictly cosmetic. Everything you get, the only bonuses you get off of heroic guns and stuff like that is like a 10% soldier XP bonus. Finally, you know, they're starting to sort of listen to us. I'm not going to say 100% that they're listening to us as a community, 100%. But they are definitely starting to to engage on us. And that's, that's good. I like to see that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy... Uh, make sure to leave a comment, subscribe, and follow my Twitter for all the latest updates. If you do agree or disagree with anything I said, make sure to let me know in the comments, and uh, you know I'll get back to you. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.